What's up everybody and welcome to Nintendo Land and today we're going to talk about some characters and not just Echo Fighters this time but we're talking about brand new newcomers and characters that people want in general. We are looking at the statistical facts here. We are trying to find proof of these characters coming into Smash and we're going to see which are the most likely first party characters, what are the most likely third party characters and we're going to take charts and polls from all around the internet and kind of come up with a final conclusion as who is going to make the list and who is going to get cut. Sorry, Waluigi. So for our first source, we're looking at Reddit because right when the Smash polls came out, the Smash ballot, uh, we really didn't even have a clue as to who actually won and who, what were the real stats because Sakurai didn't release them. So Reddit made their own kind of poll and it was their top 37 votes with their fans. And this is kind of where we are at. This kind of gives you an idea of what people want. So for number 37, we had Spiral the Dragon, which is okay. Number 38, we have Chorus Kids. Now, I don't know why they picked 37, 38 like that. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means. But um, then we have 35, the Mighty Groose, which is from Skyward Sword, if you've ever seen him. But he never really appeared in any other Zelda spinoffs, including Hyrule Warriors. So that's, that's a clearly a no. But back to the Chorus Kids, I know lots of people were saying that there's a hint or a nod towards uh, Karate Joe. As Donkey Kong was laying on his floor, kind of posed like him. So that could be a possibility. Number 34, we have Chibi Robo, which many people think have died, but who knows? He's He had a DS game, Zip Lash or Whip Lash or whatever that was. Uh, 33, we have Impa, Agent of the Goddess from Zelda, of course. Uh, also Skyward Sword or Hyrule Warriors model would be really cool. I think lots of people want Impa. If there's another Zelda rep, I would want Impa, but I think lots of people are looking at uh, Skull Kid at the moment. Tom Nook, number 32. Number 31, we have Black Mage. I'm not sure if that's from like Final Fantasy or something, but moving on. Uh, Ridley, which is already confirmed. Prince Krom, already confirmed. Crash Bandicoot as number 30, which is kind of crazy that he's all the way down at number 30. He's one of the bigger third-party characters that I'm going to talk back to again later. Um, but just think about that for a second. Number 30, that's kind of weird. Number 29, we got Fi, the goddess sword from Skyward Sword. Lots of Skyward Sword reps. Um, I think Fi or Fi or however you pronounce her. Um, uh, it just, I, I don't know. I, that's weird to me. I don't think she needs, she's not that important of a character. And many people didn't even like her as Zelda's uh, assistant. Squirtle, confirmed. Knuckles did Chitna, confirmed as an assist trophy. In Frame, I don't know who that is. E-Frame, Fire Emblem character, I guess. I, I don't know about him that much. Lloyd Irving, uh, Skull Kid. Skull Kid was that one that many people think is going to happen because of the leak, well, the rumors with the couch and the pillows and the chairs and the way it was set up and looked like the colors of Skull Kid. Um... You have Zero, he was confirmed, obviously, as an assist trophy. Lanky Kong, probably not going to happen. That's a weird one for a lot of people to vote for, but I think a lot of people rather have Dixie, and there's only going to be at least one more Donkey Kong rep. There's no way they're going to add any more than that. Uh, we have Miles, Tails, Prower. Lots of people are picking my, uh, Tails. I, I, don't, I don't understand why. I, that's so weird. I don't know. Do you really want Tails that bad? I feel like Dr. Eggman would be the better choice, or Shadow as an assist trophy, but Tails? I mean, I, I feel like they would have to work with his mech and everything, and it'd be just a completely weird character. I don't know. For me, I'm not big on that. But next is number 23, Shadow the Hedgehog, which would be a perfect assist trophy for... I mean, I said assist trophy. A perfect uh, Echo Fighter for Sonic. Um, obviously, he's not shown off as an assist trophy yet, so it could very well happen. I think it's going to happen. Chrono, it depends. You know, I, I don't know. Chrono Trigger didn't even appear on uh, the SNES Classic or NES Classic, whatever it was. Um, so I don't even know if this is going to happen for Smash. Ice Climbers is confirmed. Crystal Fox is confirmed as a assist trophy. Professor Layton, that would be a weird one. He's just a detective, isn't he? But Nintendo could make it work. Why not? Number 19, we have Pichu, which is turning. Uh, he's already returning. 18, we have Adam Matarisu, or Adam Matarisu. The, the somebody from Mother. Okay, <laughs> I think she's already like in the final smash or something. I think it's from Mother 3, I think. I don't know. Uh, quote. I don't even know who the heck Quote is. Um, it doesn't even really state who Quote is. Uh, what? Number 16, we have Gino. Uh, Gino, I was surprised it was 16 because I know a lot of people like him. He's another character we're going to be coming back to a lot later. King K. Rules confirmed. Uh, number 15, we have Wonder Red, which is uh, Wonderful 101, actually getting a lot of rep. I don't know why, I guess a lot of people enjoy that game, enjoy Wonder Red, but I know he was a just a, a straight-up trophy in those, uh, the past matches, and all the other colors were trophies as well. Waluigi is technically deconfirmed as an assist trophy, but I think he still has a small slimmer of hope, and I'll tell you why later. Number 14, we have Bomberman. He was confirmed as an assist trophy. Number 13, we have Septile, which is actually more popular than I ever imagined. I know lots of people have been talking about Septile, and I know my friend really wants him in the game. 
I thought the CGY would be a better choice. He's a more um, frequently recent rep, and I think he would um, turn some heads more. But Sceptile is cool and everything. Number 12, we have Paper Mario, which is one of my next really wanted characters. I never even thought about, but people actually obviously really like Paper Mario for him to be number 12. Um, I think it'd be another great Nintendo rep. I think Paper Mario has set himself aside from all the other series. I, he's, he's even appeared on uh, crossovers with the Mario Luigi series. So obviously he's his own entity um, and he's his own thing. So he can be his own unique character, which would be really cool. Number 11, we have Bandana Waddle D, which is actually another one that's really high on a lot of people's list. Um, he's the one of the only main heroes from the Kirby series now that has not gotten his place in the game. I think he actually is a very good possibility just because so many people are wanting him. Number 10, we have Bayonetta, which is already confirmed inkling was confirmed and then number nine we have raymond raymond would be a good choice because mario plus rabbits obviously happened but he, raymond wasn't in the game so i don't know if ubisoft wants to have raymond in there or just uh, the rabbit cameo but number eight we have a big one banjo kazooie i think lots of people want banjo kazooie is the one of the biggest third party characters you can bring in the game he's been kind of dead for a while and to revive him in smash is probably the best for microsoft and it would be even better for nintendo to have such an iconic character in the game banjo kazooie that's a big one. I, if Microsoft is still buddy buddy with Nintendo with all that, you know, Minecraft trailers and stuff, I think Banjo Kazooie could really work. And obviously, Phil Spencer and everybody currently came out stating that he really wants Banjo and Smash would be really cool. Number seven, we have Phoenix Wright uh, from Ace Attorney. He, uh, I, like I said, he could be another, <laughs> another uh, Professor Layton or uh, Wii Fit Trainer type of character that's just corny and works. Number six, we have Sora, which is another huge third-party character we'll get back to later. Obviously, people would like to see him. It would be a cool cameo to even see Mickey and Donald and Goofy in the final Smash, so we'll have to wait and see. Snake, number five, he is returning. And number four is Isaac from Golden Sun. Um, that's so weird. I could, never would have imagined that this character had such a cult following. I know he was an assist trophy where he shot the hands at you, but I guess people really love Isaac, so I think it's, I think it's time to get ready to see him in this game just because of people's undesirable love for this character number three we have wolf is returning number two was shovel knight which was crazy and unfortunately he is an assist trophy which i don't think he's going to have a chance at all now um and then number one we have shantae yes shantae beat out shovel knight and shantae is number one on this list a indie character taking the control i mean this is crazy Shantae's obviously a genie that kind of takes different shapes and forms as different animals and stuff, and she's got like a 2D platformer and stuff like that. But I'm really excited to see what they would do with her. I, and I've seen some games of her. Her games look kind of interesting. I would get into them maybe. This is crazy. I never would. Uh, I never would have. Never would have thought about that. That's a that's a really crazy one. That's one that actually blows my mind. But we'll have to see. But that right there is kind of the first kind of look what we have. What people would like to see. And of course, this is just Reddit, but let's kind of move on and see some other charts. So somebody from 4chan did tons of research and put all the information together to find out what people were voting for. And as we look at the list, we have King K. Rool, Inkling, Wonder Red, Chibi Robo, Isaac, and Paper Mario in the front row. You know, just super exciting to see Paper Mario up there again because he's a character I never even realized I wanted. And to see he's that high in the running is all, the, all the time is so great. Uh, Crystal, Cranky Kong, Andy from Advance Wars, I'm pretty sure. Sceptile, Impa, and Gino. Uh, obviously, Geno's up there. Septile Impa, we've seen that before in the past list. We have Mot, Mac, uh, Mot, Match Rider, Mac Rider, however you pronounce it. I know uh, Sakurai wanted to add, like, I think the Excite Bite characters or something, but I don't know. That That's a weird one. Uh, Dixie Kong, we've seen, like I said. Blaziken, Lana from Hyrule Warriors, which is weird. Captain Toad and Hades, which is a weird one. Hades, I think, would just be too big and too powerful. They said that about Ridley, but moving on. <laughs> Zale, I, I don't know exactly who that's from. Um... Then we have Hall Luca. I think that's the smaller version of Decidueye. I don't know why they would not pick Decidueye. <laughs> but Daisy, which is confirmed. Wart, which I'm seeing Wart a lot too. I said he'd be a cool Echo Fighter for uh, King K. Rule. But we got Machamp. Uh, Black Shadow from Captain Falcon. What is that? Um, uh, F Zero. He could work as obviously an Echo Fighter. Uh, we have Fee again. Bandana D's up there. Fossil Hero. Uh, Groose, Fawful, and Pooh. Fawful was from Mario & Luigi series. That would be kind of cool. Mona from the uh, WarioWare. Lanky Kong, Monita. Monita uh, from um, Nintendo Land, I believe. So that that's a weird one. Um, Mellow from Pushmo. Uh, Rundus from Metroid Prime. Slippy Toad is even up there, which is uh, a weird one for Star Fox, but why not? Uh, Karate Joe from the Rhythm Heaven series, which is really cool. Chorus Kids. Um... Harmo Knight, Elite Beat, C Rainbow, Captain Rainbow, uh, and Abe Lincoln from, I guess, Theme World Heist, I believe, or something like that. 
um, which is fine. But we also have uh, Fighting Chancers, which are characters that are assist trophies in Smash 4. We have Midna, which I'm not sure if she was confirmed yet. I think she was actually. Dylan, which is not going to happen. Takamaru, which might actually happen as an old school rep. Waluigi, which I still think it has a small chance I'll get back to later. Skull Kid, which lots of people are talking about. Look at the background right now with those chairs and the, the couch and stuff. Uh, we have Shadow, which is going to be an Echo Fighter of Sonic, I think I'm pretty sure. Magnus, I don't even think it was confirmed yet. He could be a, a Kid Icarus character. Tom Nook, which is could be a, another um, really cool... Tom Nook or Isabel could be really good Echo Fighters for Villager. Gyrahim, I think he's an assist trophy again. Um, like I said, I don't know. Nabbit, Ridley, Kamek, uh, Tingle... Characters that don't even really make sense. Ridley's obviously in there though, but Alec Man, I don't think he was showing off yet, but I'm sure he's not going to really be playable. That doesn't really feel right. So please forgive me about that, but I'm looking at third-party characters right now, but I see Amaterasu is actually the wolf from Okami. I realized it right away when I saw the picture, and I think earlier I said Earthbound. I know you guys are typing away at the comments right now, but continuing on, we have Professor Layton, Bomberman, Rayman, uh, Bayonetta, Shantae, uh, Simon Belmont, and Knuckles. So we know Knuckles is an assist trophy. Simon Belmont's obviously confirmed. Shantae you know, was on the top of the last list we talked about. Bayonetta's confirmed. Rayman we talked about. Bomberman's an assist trophy. And Professor Layton we talked about. But Professor Layton, right along with uh, Phoenix Wright, which is another weird one. Um, I'm surprised lots of people are actually voting for these characters. Um, but yeah. And then we have, I think this looks like Wonder Red or uh, Joe. I forgot exactly what he was from. But um, we have Feline from, I think, Monster Hunter. Uh, that would be a strange one, but it could happen since... Uh, Rathalos is in the game. We have Cooking Mama. Uh, I didn't even realize Cooking Mama was third party until I went back and looked. And Cooking Mama would be a strange choice. I think she'd work best as an assist trophy. But Shovel Knight is an assist trophy. Slime could not see as a full-fledged uh, full fighter. Uh, Chrono, like I said before, I don't know. Nintendo doesn't really seem to recognize it that much. Black Mage, like I said, from Final Fantasy. Uh, maybe he appeared on Mario, uh, baseball, um, Mario Basketball and Sports Mix, so why not? Uh, but then we were down to Tails again, so people are really voting for Tails. I cannot figure this one out. And then right beside Tails, we have Banjo-Kazooie. Banjo-Kazooie, obviously that big third-party character, but I think there's a lot of third-party characters missing from the, that, that uh, list right there. We don't have Crash, um, which is just strange. I don't know why Crash is still not mentioned in third-party uh, lineups, but yeah. And we don't have Sora. I don't see Sora up there, so um, this list is pretty strongly indicating the same things that we've already seen so let's move on a little bit more now here's the top 19 most requested characters in japan and i think this was before smash ultimate was announced right at the end of smash 4 and obviously we see king k rule with a huge slice of the pie right there obviously he got recognized we have wolf roy uh inkling snake ice climbers you know they're all confirmed you know so it was cool to get those out of the way and then bayonetta didn't even have a big slice so like i said just so weird seeing bayonetta and i think that's cloud over there 2.8 so, let's look at the rest of these characters. Let's start off from the right side over here with uh, Waddle D. Waddle D's got a big slice. Waddle D's actually getting tons of recognition. And it's just, it's so strange. But what's even stranger is that Magalore is just right behind it. How in the world is Magalore from uh, Kirby Returns or Return of Dreamland that big? Geno's obviously a decent slice. The same with Banjo-Kazooie. Paper Mario still, once again, up there with a decent slice. You know, Crystal's not, you know, obviously not confirmed now. Assist Trophy, Ashley's Assist Trophy. Yo-K, okay, watch Cat, get that out of here. I don't even want to talk about I don't even like that game. <laughs> Dixie Kong, 3.1%. I think it's higher than that, honestly. I think there's a good chance of that happening. I don't even know the 2.9% right there. Um, but then we have, obviously, Isaac from Golden Sun again. But Isaac not showing a big slice of pie right here in Japan. Not that well-known. And, um, but still, Magalore blows my mind that many people are actually picking Magalore in Japan. So that's all I really have for you right now, but at the time being, I am putting together all the possible outcomes and information through my own list. I'm going to put together a sheet, a spreadsheet, of what each and every single one of these characters and their possibilities of being in Smash. I'm going to say whether I think it's going to happen, uh, whether or not it's going to happen, you know, the, the likelihood, you know, what would be the best choice for Nintendo to choose, and some of my favorites. And I'll make a giant compiled list in a similar fashion to this, but um, it's going to be my own, it's going to be what I think, and I'm just going to put together all the information that I calculated. But based on all of this information that I've given you guys today, well, how are you guys feeling about your favorite character, and what do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's getting enough votes? Do you think Nintendo is recognizing the popularity of each character? Let me know down in the comments, and let me know if you see any characters that people seem to be forgetting to vote for. And 
I'll be sure to kind of include that. I'll be looking through the comments uh, and kind of looking at what most people are voting for. Show me in the comments who you are voting for. Kind of put the character down. Put char uh, Just put down a series as well in case it's a character I'm not too familiar with. And we'll kind of discuss uh, all about your guys' characters. And I'll kind of compile everything together in a final video for the characters later on. But thanks you guys for watching. And remember to subscribe and like. And just leave that comment down below. And I'll get to as many as I can. And thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you then.